Oh my god. That's literally almost the size of my arm. We have a lot of things that need to be caught up on here. Not too sure. The energy is a little different. Holy hell, bro. It's way fucking taller than I thought it was. The other thing is, who the heck built this thing? Welcome to Malaga. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, we can just wait 15 minutes. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, thank you. Okay. What's up, guys? We are officially at our. Uh, esta persona. Nadie. That's so vale. Are you He's coming in 15. We are officially at our first destination after eight to nine hours of traveling. Um, we've touched down. Akbar is here. Kyle is here. Let the festivities begin. I'll catch you guys too. up in a second. It's a small ass elevator, bro. No, we're, we're just big ass, ass dudes. We're just big not, ass not dudes. Way. Not in a good way. Perspective. <laughs> you can't this, is me, that, this is giving me Japan vibes one, once again. Fat strap, wide stance. So I'm counting that as a lot different. So right now we are stopping, getting a little bit of lunch. Okay, Trying this place that's literally right underneath our um, our hotel and everything. Um, just waiting for that cleaning and everything to be taken care of. Uh, our guy was a little pissed. We're not exactly sure why. Uh, I think it was a bit of a miscommunication, to be honest. Um, he said that he had somebody waiting at the airport for us. We looked around. Also tried to contact him. None of that was happening or working out, so we ended up just kind of getting our own Uber. We came early, I guess that was annoying to him as well. It's all good. We got the keys, um, you know, all that's out the way, and now we're just chilling. Uh, this is my first beer in Spain to kick things off. This is a Victoria beer. I don't know if you guys can see that label right there. Taste test. Let him know. It tastes pretty good. It reminds me of one, um, it kind of reminds me of Soul a little bit from Mexico. Same kind of like light beer flavor to it. Um, definitely a good flavor. Like it's, it's not something I would mind drinking a couple of or having if I'm out somewhere or anything. Um, but it's good. I like it. While we're here, we are going to be obviously ordering some lunch. Um, I'm getting the Caesar salad and the Calzone with salmon and spinach and all that yummy stuff in it. Of course, that he's getting the barbacoa pizza, which sounds pretty fire. And then, Kyle, what'd you say you were getting? Margarita. We were walking around looking for places to eat to kill time and everything like that. And this place, besides being right underneath us, this place also smelled really, really good. And we saw a decent amount of people sitting out here, so we figured, why not? Um, did we travel all the way to Malaga to get pizza? Maybe, but um, it's kicking things off. All right. First meal came out. We have a grilled chicken Caesar salad. This is definitely a lot bigger. Yes, without bacon. I took the bacon off because there was bacon on the... <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get into that and all the dialect uh, things that we're, we're running into right now. My Duolingo is not holding up so well. Um, but this is definitely a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Um, I thought that this was like an appetizer salad, so I got this in a calzone, and I can tell you right now, there's no way that I'm gonna finish all of this, but we will um, check it out. Akbar doesn't have a uh, meal yet, so I'm just gonna take over his side of the table real fast. For the better good. Let's get a quick little taste test going here. That's actually pretty good. This Caesar salad in particular has kind of like a creamy-ish sweet dressing as opposed to like the really like garlicky ones that I guess are, um, that I've tried back home. So, yeah, it's good, I like it. How's the beer? Uh, it's actually pretty good, I like it. Yeah. It's uh, it's only 250 and it's way better than Miller Light. We have a lot of things that need to be caught up on here. Um, a lot of first things that I've noticed right off the bat. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to trying to keep them all in my brain. I'm trying to keep up with everything that's going on around us. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll brief you guys on everything once we get back into our hotel. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. 
La margarita. Can you move your fanny car? Ah, perfecto. Gracias. Wow. Well, definitely gonna have to take this back. Nope. Wow, look at the size of that thing. Dude. That's literally almost the size of my arm. Okay. While it's here and while it's for us, I will definitely take at least one bite. I'm not gonna let it go to waste like that. Um, but I can guarantee you, based off of the salad and my current mm -hmm. hunger, hunger level and the size of that thing, the rest is just coming home in a box. Yeah, man. Mm. All types of bacon in there, man. <laughs> How it tastes? Good? Very good. Actually, What's it got on there? Barbecue sauce, onions, what? Uh, bacon, minced meat. Uh, I don't know how this is only 12 bucks, I'm gonna be honest. Kyle, what about you? How's this? Margarita. It's good, man. Let me see a bite. Let me see a bite. I played it safe. It does look good, man. That cheese looks awesome on there. I didn't realize we we're gonna get they cut this good. Hey, Here we go. I tried looking for tapas. Cam wanted this place. Yo. Salad so was great. But the bad news is that I'm full. I haven't even touched that. Um, yeah, it's going in a box. But like I said, uh, we're gonna get at least one bite while it's fresh. Uh, I'll try off course pizza too. He offered me a piece. I'm gonna take some of Kyle's because I just am. You can um, eat that calzone if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> that calzone is literally, again, well, I can't do it now, but it's literally like the size of my forearm. Huge, humongous. It's like a foot long. Um, but yeah, let's give it a taste. We'll try Kyle's margarita pizza first. Let's give that a go. Mm. It's good. Yeah, that's good. Good amount of sauce. Good cheese. Wanted a little bit more salinity in there. A little bit more something. More pizza taste. But really not bad. So we're getting a little cross section here. Here we go. Already cut this area, just trying to get a good range of it. Look at that. Good lord. Look at that. Got the salmon all the way up in that junk. Heck yeah. Okay. Well, let's get a little section out. Let's give it a go. Get in there. There we go. All right. Mm. Very rich, very full of flavor. You can immediately taste the olive oil, the salmon, the freaking garlic sauce on top. It's actually pretty bomb, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, but the other thing is, is that it's so many like high density foods. Mm. So many high density foods, salmon, bread cheese like olive oil like literally that one bite makes me feel like it's like mm, mm, full but this thing is gonna be fire whenever i am hungry this is gonna be absolutely great because this thing's gonna hit the spot all right that's our little taste test for pizza pino i think that's the name of this restaurant is pizza pino um yeah uh, hopefully our room will be ready soon. It's 2 o'clock, so we actually still have a couple hours to spare. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna get a box for our food and pay our check and finish our beers. Just got done with lunch. Dropped some stuff off at the room. Um, currently still waiting. Got about an hour left until our room is supposed to be ready. Uh, so we're just kind of walking down the boardwalk, seeing what we can see. Checking out the beach and everything. Um, so let's dive into those topics that we were talking about at lunch. Number one, um, the Spanish here is different than the Spanish in other places. And I kind of knew that because Duolingo, which is what I mainly teach slash sub teach myself Spanish through, um, tells you that. It tells you about the differences and everything between Spain dialect and between Mexico or, you know, wherever it is that um, you're trying to go and trying to speak in because those are the main things that I'm picking up is immediately there's there's differences in words or you know pronunciations and stuff like that so that's been the first hurdle <laughs> <laughs> oh look there are friends that's the bachelorette party from the airport 
on our flight over and everything. Um, but then number two, um, not too sure. The energy is a little different. Um, so far, a lot of people seem annoyed. I'm not sure if that's just that um, they maybe, you know, aren't too fond of tourists and everything, which I get that, that's fine. Um, or if it's more so like, maybe we don't speak well enough, like Spanish, which we definitely don't. Uh, so maybe that's an annoying part. Um, but yeah, people seem a little bit more reserved to themselves and everything. Definitely not mean or anything, but just a little bit more uh, distance. I literally just saw that, bro. Oh my um, but yeah, the other thing is that the beach, as you probably heard Kyle in the background and everything, the beach is, we're pretty sure, um, a nude beach, or it's just the beach rules here in Spain are different. Um, because people just kind of come how they want, honestly. We've titties seen- titties are out. <laughs> titties are out. We've seen, People who are out here, like topless girls, just running around topless. Um, we haven't seen any naked dudes yet. I'm sure it's probably going to come along. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's just that's that's probably like a, a cultural thing here, where it's not emphasized as big. So um, yeah, people just kind of do what they want to. But as you can see, it's a beautiful beach. Definitely beautiful. Beach. Beautiful view. Uh, currently, Spain is under. Um, or I don't, I'm not sure if it's Malaga in, in specific, but Spain is under a heat watch, heat wave watch and everything like that. I can definitely see why. Um, it's very like dry, direct heat. There is a little bit of a breeze, but uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's pretty hot. I'm sweating out here. One thing I have to say that I'm liking so far is how pretty this part of the city is in particular so much like actual greenery and wildlife not wildlife greenery and plant, uh, plant life kind of woven into the actual streets and everything like that like look at this this entire sidewalk is covered with trees and then off to the left over here there's more palm trees and bushes and greenery oh working out with that I'm so down. stairs and you know, like it's it's so so intricate and pretty man it, it's beautiful to look at so out of the trees right now, we're currently going to see if we can uh, go up there. I don't know if you guys can see up there. It is all the way up there. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, one's a zigzag and one's a straight shot. That's probably the easier one. All right. So we're trying our luck here really working off everything that we just ate. See my leg again. My leg's all in time Beautiful view so far. I think we can go straight this way too, Aqua. I have to get tickets. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> Can't wait for you to skip and fall, buddy. I know, right? I'm gonna hit the camp. <laughs> you going up? Huh? Whoa, there's like a little almost yeah, like, say, almost yeah. twisted my ankle. It's like a little water drainage canal here. Do we have any idea what this thing is called? Alcazaba. Alcazaba? What's that mean, Ka? Oh, it's the name of this fortress. It's like an old in Spanish fortress. All right, an old Spaniard, Spanish Ibiza. No, I'm just kidding. Malaga fortress. Um, let's see what's at the top. If we don't overheat and die of exhaustion first. Good Lord. So some ration water left. Definitely should have prepared a little bit better for this. Nope, should have got some water. View is looking kind of good, not gonna lie. Straight or back? Back? I mean, we've been doing the same route. I mean, why do I feel like Akbar's taking us the harder way? Yeah, I said it's a zigzag. Like, I feel like we could have gone straight at least three times already. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Dude, why are we walking? Way out of the beers. 
I got you. I got you with the sand, dude. Boom. Love that. Alright. Whew. Back to getting literally drenched. Man, that water is going to feel so good. I'm not really sure if this is like a, a coffee spot right here or something, but whatever it is, it would be perfect for like a view of everything. Just look at that. Look at that. This is the type of stuff I live for, man. Love the views, love the hikes. Okay. All right. Whew. Okay. So, we have reached the main part of the fortress or whatever the hell this thing is. Hey, remember guys, don't use your lower back. All on your quads and your hammer, come on. <laughs> Thank you, coach. Hey, we yeah, appreciate you. Gym, there we go. We every morning. Thirty dollars for what, bro? This is all you need. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. I know, right? What about pull up set? We're getting close. Hopefully, we didn't walk all the way up here to have to pay to get our nice, uh, like, trophy view at the top. I see people going out to the edge, taking pictures and everything. So we'll see. But all I can say is. It's freaking, right right it's freaking hot. It's freaking hot. I'm looking, photo. dude. I'm looking shiny. I, I'm, I'm literally dripping. Dripping, bro. Okay, let's see where we're at. What we got? You can still go up, by the way. Did we go up though? Yeah, yeah, you can go. What a view. What a view. Welcome to Malaga, guys. Beautiful. All right. We're gonna stop right here, take a couple pictures, uh, and then we'll get back to the vlog. Oh, you can still charge with that. No, you can't. Yeah, you can't. The USB side. Oh, yeah. Still going. Hello. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Not exactly the uh, most ideal place I would sell wares, but hey, maybe he knows something that I don't. Holy hell, bro. This thing's way fucking taller than I thought it was. So, whew, taking a small break. I was trying to buy some water. Okay. But originally, um, we were trying to get to that side over there, which is way over there. But because we followed Akbar, and Akbar followed, well, himself, I think where it's taking us is actually up there, way across yonder. So we're actually pretty close. But man, whew. <sighs> It's hot. Oh, damn. This is a yeah, steep ass hill. Good lord. Oh, wow, that water is still different. Ice cold, baby. I still got a little of mine left. I'm gonna drink it when we get to the top and take another picture. I thought I had the best view of Spain, or not Spain, uh, Malaga. Oh, my. Down there a little. This is loads better. Photo op. It just keeps getting better and better. Oh my god. Wow. Yep, definitely snagging that. Check this out. Honestly, I don't even think this is the top, but good lord. Look at that. Wow. Incredible. Look at that view. Absolutely beautiful. Welcome to Malaga. <laughs> okay, that spot was fun. But let me check my Volta battery. What am I at? What do we got, Volta? Three. Okay, yeah, that spot was fun. But we think, if you guys can see up there, we're pretty close to like the tippy top. So we're gonna give it one more push since we're already here. 
No point in backing down now. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Oh, these are like some nice, like penthouse houses over there. Kind of tucked into the hills. Yeah, we think that this is the top. So maybe one more go around and we'll probably be good. We scaled this thing pretty quick. I wanna say it was like maybe 20, 30 minutes. All due to me, baby. All due to you. Yeah. What did you do? I told you guys how to walk properly. <laughs> Backs arched, all quads and hammies. My fault, my fault. Come on. Let me not disrespect. Yeah. Yeah, let's get this via, or this villa's over here. This looks nice. Nice, beautiful view. There's something going on down yonder. There's the top. We can see the top. I hear a drone. Aha! I know my technology when I hear it. We're going right or left? Left, right? Yeah. There's a drone up there, which means we have to do this again, boys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh. You can fly Kim, the drone. Kim, okay. I'll do it with you after I go to the gym. I was kidding, Akbar. I'm not doing this shit again. What? What? what do you mean, why? Why would I go all the way up here if I can just fly the drone up here? Why won't you just come up here instead? Why? The drone will go for me. Wow. This is Mr. I like walking, by the way. This isn't walking, this is hiking. <laughs> yeah, it looks like this is like a, oh, it's like a little souvenir shop over there. Some drinks, beer, coffee. Ice cream, just a little plaza to go and rest. Ah, here we go. Finally, some direction. This is where we pass here. And it's rather entrance and admission prices. It's pretty cheap. Oh, we might be able to pay. We might be able to pay by card. Keep track of all the charges. Yeah, I got you. All right. Gracias. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. And just like that, we're in. All right. Let's see what monuments we are going to see right now. What historical wonders of Malaga we've unlocked with our $5. Last one down, that's the room of Cam. You wanna make that a bet? <laughs> they act like rooming with me is the plague, man. I don't know if it's because I'm no, darker I than them. Down that thing. I don't know if it's because I'm darker than them. I don't know if it's just because I freaking fart sometimes. Like your chest is so huge, you smell like a lawnmower. They should be hating on me, bro. Hating on me. What about your leg sweat? That's, 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 that's exactly. Okay. We got entrada going in here. Whoa. Wow. Oh, you don't want to check out this area? I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Hold on. Okay. Oh, they're upstairs. Oh, this is like some type of museum or something. Unfortunately, I came in here for a bathroom. <laughs> I didn't see any bathrooms, but um, let's see. This looks like a model of everything of the whole city, all that stuff. Yeah, we walked all of this today. So here's the beach all down here. This was the boardwalk that we walked. Came all the way across here, cut up in here at some point, cut back across. That's the little crosswalk over there that we walked across and started our hike up. And we just kind of zigzagged our way all the way back up to this. And now we're up there at the top. That's pretty cool, man. Um, and since this is a model of the whole city of Malaga, all of this over here is also a city that we haven't even touched or glimpsed of or anything. We're pretty much only on one quarter of it. So very interesting. I'm going to check out the rest of this courtyard out here, actually. Let's go on up. 
the higher up we go. I can't imagine being, if this is like an old, like war fort, I can't imagine being a soldier and having to like hike up through this with armor on and all that stuff. And then on top of that, like, what if you're in an actual battle? You're not just like doing rounds and walking around, but you're like legit sprinting, trying to get to your station, you know, trying to man cannons, trying to command units. This thing's a workout. Now we're at the top of this little watchtower lookout thing. is not so great a little bit higher a little bit higher but we get a nice view of the back side over here that's definitely all that city that i saw in the model back there all of it see just how big it is spanning out into the mountains and the hills it's pretty cool very scenic another view over here that you guys can see. Wow. Beautiful. The other thing is like, one, th one part of it is just running along this. Like, picture yourself as a soldier having to run through here for battle or like just again hiking through here with like all your heavy armor and gear on and stuff like that's one thing to imagine the other thing is who the heck built this thing like this is high off the ground very high and yeah that is a nice pool over there i'm, I'm pretty jealous of their setup that they got going over there but as i was saying this is high this is very high off the ground and it's pretty intricate too. I mean, as you can see, like, it's not like, you know, a palace up here, but it's pretty detailed uh, and pretty sturdy. So my question is how long did it take to build this thing? And who built this thing? Was it the soldiers? Was it the, like the civilians? Was it maybe war criminals or slaves or something? I wanted them more. So Cam's gonna do his research. I'm not sure how much more of this fort there is to explore, but um, I think it's a job well done. Boys. I think this is pretty much it. We came, we saw, we conquered. Hey, hey somebody's bumping down there. That's what I'm saying, bro. Let me in. Yeah, somebody's bumping down there. But yeah, I think this is pretty much it, guys. This is our uh, this is our tip top of the world view right here. Personally, I liked our one that was nestled down there in the trees a little bit better, but. We got what we paid for. We paid our five dollars. We made it all the way up here. And uh, yeah, it was pretty good. I expected it to be a lot hotter up here than it was down there. Um, but honestly, the breeze is helping cool things off quite a bit. But yeah, it's four o'clock now. So we're going to head back down soon. Um, let me talk with the view in back of me. I, I walked all the way up here to earn it. Uh, yeah, so it's four o'clock now. Um, we're going to head back down and probably check into our room um officially now now that it's it's done with the cleaning it's on time and all that stuff and then we're gonna head to the beach and we're gonna head to the beach vamos a la playa uh and yeah cool off and get some well deserved rest and relaxation so with that i give you guys uh, a farewell i bid you adieu and we'll catch you in the next one peace now the perspective is reversed we're the ones going down and obviously things are a lot easier going down. So we're all like joking and you know, just doing whatever. And the people coming up look like we did. Absolutely miserable. <laughs> These are the steps you have to take. Little itty bitty baby steps. As it gets. What? I'll tell you when we get to the block. What? <laughs> what, talk to me. <laughs> I gotta buy you another sunscreen. I have no idea where it is. Oh, I put it in oh, here. Oh, you oh, did? Uh, yeah. I was like, bro, I, I just, I was like, bro, just I walked up to the top. I was like, okay. <laughs> Slept it up. And... Okay, our room is finally ready. We are back. Still absolutely drenched in sweat, but this is our first room of the trip in Malaga, Spain. Oh, shit.
have them on the bedrock softener. Gave me a pen. <laughs> Second bedroom over here, bathroom directly attached. Little mini balcony to wake up to. Definitely up right there and snag that in a minute. Finish the house tour though. Another bathroom in here. There we go. So not too bad. Not too shabby at all. And last but not least, but of course. There's two bathrooms, right? Yeah. Oh balcony. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I figured out that this automatically closes and opens our blinds. That's pretty cool. I've got this view right around the corner over here. As you guys previously saw. I got this view. What a guy. What a guy. Show him the tats. Yeah, we got that view. And we got this here. Oh, this has a button too. What does this do? Hold on. Oh, we have lights. Doesn't look like this very many, but we have lights. Okay. But yeah, we've got this view to wake up to in the morning. So, um, I don't need that one over there. Uh, the blinds are pretty much just good for shutting everything out. But yeah, let's. Uh, once Akbar hurries up and finishes in the bathroom, so I can shit, then um, I'll tell you guys all about our our Ibiza 10 day excursion that we've got planned and everything that we've got weaved into our schedule. Okay. Time to dry and have a chat here. Hopefully you guys can see the beach a little in the background. There we go, yeah, it looks pretty good. We're at the beach, right in the back of our hotel. And uh, it's really nice, the water is actually really beautiful. These are the type of rocks that are all along the initial shoreline and stuff. Once you get far enough out, it's sand and everything, but um, these are the type of rocks, they're all smooth and very, like, just nice, almost like a massage on your feet when you're walking out into the water and just kind of wading out there. Um, so yeah, it was nice. I picked up a couple so I can show you guys. I've got the media mod on right now, so I can't really bring it into the water. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Might bring a couple of them home. Katie said she wanted some stones. Maybe these can be the stones. Uh, straight from the beaches of Malaga. But uh, let's go ahead and give you guys a lowdown real quick of what's gonna be going on on our 10 day Ibiza trip and everything. So to kick things off, it is me, Kyle and Akbar. We flew out of Dulles uh, into Madrid and then took an additional flight from Madrid into Malaga, which is where we are now. Uh, we'll be spending a couple days in Malaga, about three or so up until Monday, and then we'll hop to the next leg of our trip, which is Barcelona. Uh, always wanted to go to Barcelona ever since I was like real, real little, uh, watching soccer on the TV and seeing like, you know, classic Barcelona stars of that time, like Ronaldinho, Samuel Eto'o, way, way, way back in the day. So yeah, headed to Barcelona uh, and gonna check out the scenery and everything that that place has to offer there. Pretty much the same thing that we're doing here. Um, staying there for a couple of days, checking out the food, experiencing culture, um, sightseeing, and just, uh, just seeing what we can do. Um, then, after another three days in Barcelona, we're going to take another plane off to, I believe, Ibiza is our next stop. 
we might have one more like little kind of like hopping place in between but basically we go from barcelona to um ibiza uh so yeah we're doing kind of a round robin across these next 10 days and yeah just having fun and seeing how it's gonna be